to do gossip today because Roseanne and Tom Arnold are both here today. So stay right where you are, okay? Okay! And hello from New York City, where look at your TV because my sweater is red, my hair is green, and your TV's busted. Ha ha ha. <laughs> the Star, which I read all the time, the Star magazine says Shannon Doherty, if you've been reading it, has five speeding tickets and three moving violations, and it's reaching the point now where Teddy Kennedy won't ride with her. do gossip today because Roseanne and Tom Arnold are both here today. Roseanne, which I think is fabulous, we know each other now for four years. She is on Penthouse Magazine's list of the 10 hottest women in America. And I, oh, isn't that great? I think that's I never made that list, which kind of hurts me. A tea kettle will whistle at me. I can't, I, I, Elephant Man saw me naked and took a pass. I mean, it's just, it, I am so excited that they are on today. They are becoming, or probably are now, the most powerful couple in television. Their two sitcoms have a combined viewing audience of close to 70 million people every Thursday night on ABC, which is phenomenal. Please welcome slash comedian slash executive producer from the Jackie Thomas Show, Tom Arnold! And let's bring out the wife also, Roseanne. Okay. didn't recognize you when you, you when we were getting ready you poked your head out and I, I'm blind anyhow so I thought you were David Letterman for a second because he's one <laughs> he's wandering the building now and you how much have you lost well I've lost uh, since, since two years ago yeah. I've lost about 90 pounds so wow. that's good. Wow. and you've lost how much about 70 are you competitive the two of you no we're competitive for it the most. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you say, I, I lost and I didn't? I mean, that kind of stuff? Sometimes we do, but mostly it's like, okay, should we go to Ben and Jerry's yeah. or... Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're competitive who eats the most, actually. Yeah. Well, How? You know, she doesn't let me see her way or anything. No, uh, that's the one thing. No. I was nine months pregnant with Melissa, and I had a little locket. I would take the locket off before I got on the scale. <laughs> like, that was going to happen. Yeah. How far down do you want to go? Um, I don't know. I, I just like to, I, I guess about maybe 30 more. Yeah, and you? About the same, yeah. What about, this always worries me, what about, do you think that's going to change, that they won't think you're funny? Do you ever worry about that? I don't know. I don't worry about it, because, yeah. you know, I know I'll still be funny, but. Yeah, all right. <laughs> What about you? It'd probably be funny. I think it, it, I think the better, the healthier you are, the funnier you are, you know, because yeah. that's always the excuse to people that are fatter. People, when I used to drink all the time, I'd say, well, if I quit drinking, you know, it's <laughs> not going to be as funny. But the truth is you're funnier because you've are you got it together a little more. That's, but except I know some comedians we won't mention that have sobered up and uh, never funny again. That's true. You know what I mean? That's, <laughs> that's true. That's a, and I know some comedian ladies who we won't discuss, but we'll talk privately, who literally <laughs> got too glamorous and suddenly there was one very funny lady wants to get an ad for the long thing holding dogs and I thought there oh. better be a great joke at the bottom of this and there wasn't the joke was at the end of my career I mean, I was like, <laughs> you, well, but if you, I have any trouble I can gain it all back in a week yeah, I'll meet you I'll meet, oh. 
What about now? You also you do gym? A men's magazine like Men's Gym or Men's, men's Health? Men's Fitness. Yeah. Health Fitness. Yeah. I built a gym in our house, a big giant gym, and uh, you know really invested a lot of time and money into it. And he says he did. I've never seen it. But. <laughs> it's, it's past the kitchen. You've seen that, right? <laughs> Anyway, it's a beautiful gym, and I'm really, I like it. You you visited there a couple yes, times. It's very nice. Are you doing any of that yet? No. Oh, good. I was, but I just can't stand it. I yeah. really can't stand it, and uh, so I don't do it now. Now, tell me That's about... bad. <laughs> tell me about glamour. It's, it's wonderful. You change, you fix your nose, I think it's because you know who you're talking oh, yeah. to. You know. Yeah. You fix your nose, and you I had the to, boobs. Because it was, like, widening at a daily rate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And, oh, I thought you meant the boobs. <laughs> <laughs> and you fix the boobs. Yeah. What else do you want to do? Well, I had also, uh, this is, pr I had a thing with my stomach. Great, too. great. You just had that done. Because, you know, like when you gain, when you're like emotionally unstable, as I've been in my life, and gain and lose 80 to 100 pounds a year, which I did. That's. Um, you have a lot of loose skin. Plus the skin, you had four children. Yeah. And yeah. and so I had, like, it's called an, an apron. And uh, I called a it, loose skin. I call it a flap. <laughs> <laughs> she had a flapendectomy is what I think. <laughs> but now you want to have another baby, so it's all going to yeah. get pulled, pulled over again, right? Well, no, because I, when I was pregnant, it was, you know, still there. So I had the, I carry the baby's high, and then it was low. So it didn't have anything to do with that. And the doctor said it was good for her to have the surgery now, you know, because it'll just make it more firm when she has the baby, right? Yeah. Are you really, really trying? To have a baby? Yeah. I'm doing everything I can, Joe. <laughs> I mean, I'm wearing boxer shorts. I'm doing everything I can. I'm having vitamin C. Is that do it? Well, they say I'm trying everything. That's, you, they told him to press on his chin like this, and that would help with sperm. Well, that's why I read what? it, re reflexology. What is it? But Isn't press that on weird? your chin, and press here, and then press the third place that I might not mention right now. Press here? Press here, and then here, here. I think. And they, just, these are for fertility places. This, there's a book called Reflexology, which I'm trying everything. Yeah. Why you? Why, you never had a child. No. No. Did you have, ever have a girlfriend like almost had a child? You know. Well, that... I've uh, had sex. If that's what you yeah. mean. <laughs> I, had a... I don't. Know. No, because it shouldn't. It wasn't be... very good for them, probably. But that, they were. They... Yeah. No, I've never got anybody pregnant. You know. But I mean, we did a sperm count. Yeah, and, that's what I was going to uh, ask you. Yeah, and what they do is they, you know, they test. They did a hamster test, which they take the egg of a hamster, and if your sperm's impregnate the, the hamster egg, then they try it on your wife, you know, because basically we're at the point now, we tried to have a baby by, because she had her tubes reconnected last April. We we tried to have a baby by having sex, right? Yeah. But that didn't work. That was, and that is not how you have a baby. <laughs> not, once, not once you're married. No. no. <laughs> what we do, we got a system is, uh, we're doing this in vitro fertilization, so basically, you know, I'm uh, in my closet. It and uh, she is, uh, and then I'm in there, you know, doing what I do, and then they run that down to the lab, and she's already down there, so you know, I'm on the way to work when she's trying to conceive a baby. But you got to do it, I mean, it's real scientific and everything, you know. It's weird, too, because I went down to the hospital the first time I went down there to do this procedure, which the man has to go give sperm, and and uh, I thought, man, this is a hospital, they're gonna have some kind of a, like a milking machine or something, you know. But no. You just do it the way, you, you know, I've been doing it all these years, and uh, I'm good at it, too, because, you know, when you're, when you're a kid, you, you, you take math in school and trigonometry and all that stuff, you never use it again, but that you do use. <laughs> what about, yes, you always had a great sex life. I always thought you did. I went to visit you in Vegas, and you were a lot of touch, but nice mm -hmm. touchy. It wasn't like, I hate couples like, excuse me, mm, but, yeah. but it was like a little touch when you went past, and that's like that. Now, is this improving the sex life that you're looking so good, the two of you, or does it make any difference because you know each other so well? Well, it kind of doesn't make any difference, yeah. but it kind of does just in your own head because, you know, I, I feel better about myself yeah. so that well, makes look me look at the way you look right. i mean thank it's you phenomenal. very much it makes me feel not yeah. not like embarrassed or mm -hmm. you know what did you think was a glamour magazine that picture was a do or something they did yeah what was what was it what glam do. fashion do you didn't see that no did i have the black bar across my no, arm and everything no. <laughs>
<laughs> that's yeah. cool. I didn't know yeah. that. That's neat. Why is it? Why is it nobody sends nice clippings? Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm sure if they had said you're a don't or ugh, somebody would have said, oh Roseanne, look what they did about you yeah. again. And I and that's the only thing I would see too, because yeah. if they send me a hundred nice ones, I'm like, nah, they don't. Uh. But the one mean one, I, I always remember, I think about it at night, it's always there, you know, you I, I obsess it. on it. Yeah, that you pass it. <laughs> Why are people picky? I love what you, when you defend yourself. See, you're so verb. You do what I would do if I had the power, you know what I'm saying? Screw you. This is the way I feel back about you. Whoops. I just so... Why are people shocked that you do that, that you answer back and you fight back? I don't know why they're shocked. It's so funny. I don't know why they're shocked. Because, I mean, it's, it's a normal thing. They act as if thing. it's never been done, that anyone yeah. told them they were full of it. Yeah, yeah. But they are full of it, and I'm sure a lot of people have told them that before me. Yeah, and, and we'll continue. What about with your show now? Are, they, are you just I thrilled that it's successful? Really I'm very happy. <laughs> Honey, that could start up. Okay, okay. <laughs> Sugarless. Sugar That's one of her triggers. Yeah. You know, it's just one of them. Tell what you ate last night at Sammy's. Oh, it was our anniversary. Oh. And I went out, we ate, happy I ate, anniversary. I went Go this. back up. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. All right. What? Thank you. Exactly. Exactly. Last night was the third year anniversary of her divorce being final. That's the one we really right. celebrated. <laughs> But Tuesday is our but, third wedding anniversary. Yeah. But we're going to the inauguration, which we're really excited about. Yeah, yeah I am too. That's it. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So go ahead. So, so what are you going to wear? Actually, uh, I'm going to. Actually, this is after the this, inauguration. Yeah, this so we'll say, uh, I wore. You want your wear? I wore. <laughs> <laughs> you probably remember. Oh, I, I was in that a red, the red dress. The oh, red yeah, dress. the red dress. And oh, you were at the. And you were I in, was in the navy blue. I loved you. I said, <laughs> who's wearing that navy blue? My God, it's Roseanne. My God, my God. <laughs> Isn't it exciting to go to things like that? Wow. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're so great. excited. It was great. It was great. Rosie danced I mean, with Bill Clinton. And, uh, what about when Hillary slapped Bill? Could you oh, believe that? I could not believe it. Wow. But let's go to commercial while we continue to reminisce. We'll be back with more moment so please stay tuned <laughs> Is it a bad time to rehearse? No, 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 it's a great time to rehearse. Listen, I've been rehearsing by myself all weekend. I'm ready to go. <laughs> but first I got to find out what the hell's going on around here. So why don't you just make yourself comfortable, you know, put on a bikini and some black high heels and, uh, and this dog collar and uh, I'll be right back with you. Oh, I can't wear bikinis. They show my scars. What scars? Uh, from my sex change operation. <laughs> does the almond get into Hershey's kisses with almonds? Little Hershey's kisses with almonds. Big chocolate taste. Did you know your mouthwash may contain over 26% alcohol? Until now, what was your choice? Now there's new Clear Choice, the alcohol-free mouthwash. Nothing keeps your breath fresher. New Clear Choice mouthwash. Fresh breath zing without the alcohol sting. A quick reminder, Lubriderm Lotion heals your dry skin and protects it. Remember, the one created for dermatologists is the one that heals and protects. See you later, alligator. Now for your bath, Lubriderm introduces the Lufa Bar with natural Lufa to gently exfoliate for softer, smoother skin. See you later, alligator. Would you like to find the love you deserve? Is success in your future? Now you can find the answers and connect with someone so gifted you'll feel good just talking with them. Call the live one-on-one -on -one psychic connection for your private reading anytime. Call toll-free 1-800-972-6655. 
Don't face your future alone. Call now. American Airlines, 200,000 reservations a day. Designing their communications network, John Hall, DeVry graduate. I started at a traditional college. Then I transferred to DeVry. At DeVry, you learn today's technology. You get a bachelor's degree you can use. DeVry provided the solid business and communications base that I needed. My career has really taken off. Transferring to DeVry was the right move. Call anytime, 1-800-247-7800. DeVry, we're serious about success. Tom and Roseanne Arnold, the most powerful and controversial <laughs> couple in Hollywood. Everything they seem to do truly makes headlines. So you know what I mean? It's, it's just, um, uh, just, and not just, just, not just the tone headlines, but like every place. Let me show you a few clips. Here is a clip from the Fox News that ran just a few weeks ago. Take a look at this, and then we'll hear what you two have to say about it. Okay? Uh oh. Ah! It's not like Roseanne isn't a character who attracts criticism as well as viewers, or that her husband, Tom Arnold, is a guy who loves the press. I want the son of a bitch out of here, and I'm going to throw him out in about two minutes. It's our Christine <laughs> press conference. No, this time Roseanne is up at the plate swinging away at critics, who dissed Tom Arnold's new program, The Jackie Thomas Show. Los Angeles Daily News critic Ray Richmond liked the show, but called Arnold one of the least funny humans on the planet. Roseanne wrote him saying she approached reading his review the way some people anticipate anal warts, calling him an obscenity. I've seen you, Tara, you're funny. You know, it's like, oh, I don't. You know what I'm saying. Um, but people just don't get it. Somebody told me, or I read it in, uh, I think, Cosmo, that when you played a club way in the beginning, nobody thought you were funny, and you would stand at the door and tell them you're a so-and-so on the way out. Yeah, yeah. Why is it people just can't give you your due? Well, do you know I, what I'm saying? I mean, you know, the truth is about my show, it got 90% good reviews. Yeah. I mean, New York Times, just all the big reviews. ones. Yeah. But there were some, you know, some people, there are so many critics. Some are good, some I mean, are not some so good. Some critics said, I think it was Chicago and a couple of really big papers said that his show is one of the 10 best shows that's ever been on television. Yeah, so he got great reviews, and it was not about me talking about bad reviews. It's the way they personally attack us, even in a good review. Yeah. And this guy, and these guys should get bad reviews. I mean, it's just... You know, I read them and, you know, I look at it. But, I, I mean, I see how good my show is, and I know what I can do, so it doesn't really bother me. You know, I, I look at it and I go, and, and this guy that, that they showed the clip of, this Ray Richmond, he has made his career off this now. He is, like, kind of famous because of this, uh, her facts. You know, he's going around to talk shows and doing all this stuff. And the guy is no better of a critic than he was before this. Right. He's the same, you know, he's marginal. And But the truth is that they, you know, they, they like this stuff, too. But, but you hit on a big person, and the big person acknowledges you. Yeah. That makes, that brings you uh, up as well, to where you are. Well, I know, are. now I think, uh, you know. But you changed. I don't know. I told Tom I kind of wish I hadn't done it because it like took all the. It, there was, it was just so big, and I wanted to, you know the news to be about him and his show. Yeah. So I kind of wish I didn't do it, but he said. I'm glad well. she did because yeah. what she did is she answered something. She felt a certain way about something, and these guys, this one in particular, have been writing nasty things about her and her body and her everything, and not about her work. Yeah. And she did. She faxed them, and she. And I thought they were great, and I support her 100 percent on it. What about the two of you? Is are one of you cool-headed, or do you said it? My husband. And I used to set each other off, which was oh, bad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We can that's do that. some of the, You're telling me that's some of the <laughs> Instead of saying, "Don't be silly," you know, nobody, nobody corked the other one. Yeah. I'm, I'm the cool one. You are the cool one. Yeah, but I mean, we, I could be. <laughs> To a point, I well, know. sometimes we each are. Right. But if we get into a negative thing, we will just tailspin till we just start screaming. Yeah. You know. And but so we got to be careful not to do that because we just get, get so nervous about everything. Yeah. So one of us tries to be calm. Right. Yeah, we both are. You're both with that. You, now you're, you're executive producing her show, and yeah. you're executive producing his show. Yeah. Well, so, we both do both shows, yeah. basically. So what? Again. People are just beginning to realize that you can do a lot more than what they 
Ever thought you could do. Yeah. That's well, I mean, you know, that I'm real proud of the Roseanne show because oh. when I came on as producer, I mean, you look at the show before, it was very good before, but I mean, we've made some great strides. Yeah. I'm not saying it's all because of me, but there's, there's a little bit in there and I feel real proud of it, you know. And yeah, mostly it's all because of him. Yeah. Uh, he, he writes with the writers and he does, he, he relieved me of a lot of that work, so all I have to do is go in front of the camera. I can save my energy and I go on his show and boss everybody around there. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> he, he's developed the more, uh, the bigger plot lines and, or, you know, things that the, the more, you know, the braver things we, we do are because of him. And, uh, you know. Do you want to stay on with your show? You're yeah. going to your fifth year. How long? Yeah, everyone's you? leaving me, though. I'm I know. Now, what is so the, mad at Yeah, them. yeah. Well, the two girls don't want to be, you know, the one doesn't want to be in show business anymore. She says she wants to go in the Peace Corps. All right. Because you know how... Was that you Sarah? Know how no, no, that's the other one. She's actually going to call You know how teenagers are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is, and they're even cool. like that in show business. Yeah. They're just like my real kids. Yeah. And so she's going in the Peace Corps or whatever, the Rainforest and the Peace Corps, I don't know. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and leave you to hit show. Yeah, and, just, yeah. and, and now Sarah wants to go to Yale, so yeah. what she's do you tell her? What she do you also wants her? to have her own show, Yeah. Sarah. Yeah. Could you do Which it under your umbrella? Uh, I think I think we'd have to be uh, technically involved somehow. Now, what's going on? You two have all this clout now. Is every you know friend what, Joe, in the I world to... showing up to you well, and I... saying, "Yes, Tom, please"? But you know what? The truth is, nobody has any clout. You know, you do. That's we have true. we have worked and we've earned a little bit of, of stuff because of the success of the Roseanne show and stuff. But you know, they can cancel anybody anytime. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. nobody really has any power there because nothing makes any sense. But, but you're certainly five years. Now you don't have to work because you, right. you. I'm not gonna say you're rich, but you're not poor. No, but you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. What about your money? Who's handling your money? We have business Are you managers. Good business we always talk about to you about this. <laughs> yes. Yes. I worry about. I worry because I see so many people. It just goes past right. them, you know, and you I just know. have to say. Oh, We've get... invested. We 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 own a bunch of land in Iowa. We own some stuff in California. We own businesses. Yeah. And uh, we keep a good eye on it. And and I read all the stuff every month. I read what we spend here and there. I, I just I, I don't look at it because I'm too scared. I, I'm I, too worried. I don't understand money and numbers or math. That at is all. one thing about the syndication with the Roseanne show is it's like keeps syndicating. It's it's like a pension plan. You know, yeah. it's a really great thing. I want to talk about never mind that kind of money. I want to talk about your your birthday gifts cause, and the wonderful things he did for you because the most romantic birthday party I ever heard about. And we'll discuss this in a moment. And then tattoos. Okay. We have to all look at tattoos because right. I, I see something peeking through your dress. Oh, yeah. We'll be back with more in a moment, so My please nipple. stay with us. <laughs> your nipple. I think I'll make fresh dressing. Good seasons? Mm-hmm. It's oil. Take a light one. Mmm. Dressing's great. Good seasons. You make it fresh, you make it best. And now, you can make it fat-free with Good Seasons for Fat-Free Dressing. A special blend of herbs and spices make it taste delicious without oil. be a woman of uncompromising taste in every little thing I do, right down to the way I drink my coffee. So of course I use Coffee Mate. Not only does it make my coffee rich and creamy, but it adds something else I can really identify with. Uncompromising taste. Mercy, where are my manners? Would you care for some? Coffee Mate. Your coffee never had it so good. To enter the second annual Joan Rivers Life Swap Contest, send a two-minute or less video that shows and tells why. For full details, phone me at our toll-free number, 1-800-457-7462. Entry deadline, February 5th, so hurry! Gene Wilder, on Dylan Time with Richard Pryor. You know, people see movies about prison life. That's right, that's right, we're bad. But until you've actually spent a little time here... Mama! Come here, here, Harry! Mama! It's hard to get the real flavor. I can't feel that in my leg! I think more Americans should spend a little time behind bars. Say what?! Friar, Wilder, two innocent guys going stir-crazy. Friday night at 7 on Channel 9.
since the unknown beginnings of time. There have been unexplained powers. Now, these worlds of power can come to you. Call the gifted psychics who see all to take you on an incredible journey to your future and help you create your own paradise on Earth. To grow, to prosper, to find your place in the universe. Call now. Call toll-free 1-800-362-1818. Trust. Here's Cooking Healthy with Chef Alex. Today, let's enjoy rich dairy flavor the healthy way. My secret, Molly McButter Dairy Sprinkles. Real dairy flavors without all that dairy fat and just four calories. So shake garlic, butter, molly on steam and pasta. Mmm. How about mashed potatoes? Blend one teaspoon of sour cream, Molly, for spud for great taste the healthy way. Till next time. Molly McButter Dairy Sprinkles. Real dairy flavors without all the fat. Dogs out, turtles in. <laughs> All right, let me see if I got this straight. A turtle follows Timmy home from school one day. <laughs> and when Helen starts letting the turtle sleep in their bed, Jackie gets upset and he lets the turtle run away. <laughs> and the family's distraught. But they finally find it at the turtle pound and then they bring it home. <laughs> And then that night, a pile of rags catches fire in the garage, but the turtle runs through the house, yipping, waking everybody up. Is that right? Is that what you're telling me? It's great. That clip, that clip was on the Jackie Thomas show starring Tom. That's hilarious. Yeah, it's a great show. Do you, really are you basing a lot of the things? Because if any, we always say, if anyone ever sat backstage and watched what really happened, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's, how much of, go on. Well, I say we use a lot of the stuff, the backstage yeah. stuff, but we also, you know, the actors on the show and the characters, they are kind of a, a family. Yeah. Even though they work together like a family, so we do that, and then we also have a little bit of the backstage yeah. stuff, so. What do you want to end up doing ultimately? Going to movies? Why yeah. aren't you going to do the, Elvis, the woman who saw Elvis Presley? Well, we did, we yeah, did. we did. The I think they're showing it the in the spring. The woman who loved Elvis. We yeah. filmed that last the summer. Spring. It'll Good. be on in the spring on ABC, yeah. and then we do. We're going to do a feature film this summer. The two of us. We're going to start doing those every summer on our hiatus. So. Right. What about your kids? How are they taking all this? And it must have been such an adjustment. Because how old were they when you hit? Um, when the money changed radically? They were in the house. like uh, about 10, 11, and six. Yeah, so that's seven. Even right. a seven-year-old, but the bigger ones, eight. it must have yeah, been. Yeah, eight. I'm sorry, what? No, it must have been so I difficult. I wasn't even there. That's <laughs> It must have been such an adjustment yeah, for them. Yeah, it I really mean, was. It really was. It, it's hard for them because oh. of, you know, all, all the stuff on the outside. Yeah. Not, not really so much. Well, a lot of changes in the family, too, because I got divorced the divorce, and remarried. And it was a bitter divorce. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. and it still looks like it is still. Still? After, after four years. And How could it still I be? I don't know, but it, I don't know. It's, uh, was I it a know. settlement you pay every yeah. month? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a settlement and a and alimony. A, and a, does that get you crazy after a while? What? Signing the alimony check? No, not, it, 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 that, it's just the personal, yeah. the fighting that I just can't bear it. Still? Yeah, after four years, you know, I don't know. because the kids are usually, yeah. somehow when I there's like couples, the kids usually it. get involved, you know, unfortunately, mm -hmm. and, you know. But anyway, so they had that, and then, uh, you know, your friends and stuff, when your mom's famous, I, I guess it's like something that you have to, as a teenager especially, you feel you have to top your parents. Every teenager feels that. And and so how are they going to top the stuff I did, you yeah. know? Oh, it's so hard. But then again, it's better hard. than having a mother on drugs and a father yeah. that you don't know who he is. Right. I mean, everybody's got something. Right, that's everybody a, does have something. See, that's a, and you've got the tattoo I'm talking. Now, what is that poking through? Okay, it's a rose. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's not new, is it? Um, well, you know, I had bef I had I had a rose and a, his name Tom Arnold, and That's then I right. then I had that operation, so it only says T. <laughs> 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 During the surgery. No, I had to get a whole new rose. Yeah, yeah. Moved up more. Yeah. During the surgery, the doctor came out of the operating room. I swear to God, and he goes, "Got some bad news." I go, "What? I can't save it." You know, they had the, the O and the M and the Arnold he lost. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? You've got Roseanne still on your chest? Yeah, I've got this. I've got, you know, I've got several, but these yeah. here I got. That's there Rosie go. right That's there. Rosie. Okay. Oh, i got to shave her up. 
Yeah, Gotta shave this too. Yeah. You know, and then I got this. Uh, oh, sorry, honey. Sorry, honey. And then I got this, which means I'm sheriff. Yeah, you know that. That's, that's the, the Jewish. Well, I, in your honor, I went out. And I went wow. to Staten Island to a place, and let me just say the place. Does anyone know the name of the place? It's called uh, Carol Schwartz from Backstage Leather in Staten Island. Wow. And she did this for me. Wow. So. <laughs> it's us with Madonna. Yeah. <laughs> There she is. That's great. So that's great. my that's my anniversary <laughs> gift to you guys. Oh, thank that's, you. Uh, if oh. I ever get married again, I'll just add him over here. We'll just <laughs> <laughs> now speaking of a marriage and love, what, what about the tell about the birthday party? It was your fortieth birthday? Yeah. You had ha roses. Explain some of well, was so wonderful. Um, before you know, we she said well, I had a big party for her on the 39th, and she right. she says I, I I'm turning 40. I don't want to party. I I don't want to do anything. I just want to. So anyway, I went out and I bought her some really nice jewelry which I gave her on her birthday or right before it and I said so I got a necklace and earrings and er emeralds everything. right yeah, yeah emeralds and diamonds 175 carats of diamonds and 100 carats of emeralds Great. it was really nice Great. and everything and she really liked it and then I said we'll go away for the weekend just the two of us and that'll be your birthday thing and I could sense she was a little depressed that I hadn't went ahead and planned her a party but I had I planned it a month before and so I took her to the Beverly Hills Hotel and I said we're gonna have a, just a private dinner me and you it's gonna be great so we walk in there and there's about 500 people and they all Applied. Oh, it was great. That was so cool. Yeah. I was totally surprised. I had no idea. And it was people that I haven't had time. You know how you get busy and you don't get to see people that you really care about. And uh, I, I called them up. It was and like one after another from all over the country. He flew them in and. It was yeah. just, just wonderful. Great. It was just, just wonderful. Great. It was fun. I want to show pictures of the house when we come back, right? Okay. The house in Iowa, right? We have yeah. some pictures to show. Yeah. House in Iowa, the house in um, L.A. The house okay. in L.A., yeah, okay? Because you're living beautifully, I hear We live in Very a trailer nice. in Iowa. I, the tra that's a, a big trailer. <laughs> when we return, we're going to take you, as I said, on a tour of Tom and Aunt Ma Roseanne's, Roseanne's multi-million dollar love nest. Don't you love that? Plus, uh -oh. an intimate peek inside uh -oh. Roseanne's boudoir. So, <laughs> so stay tuned. Introducing new waterproof formula, Bathroom Duck. The only bathroom cleaner that cleans tough dirt and grime, then waterproofs to resist dirt buildup. Like water off a duck's back, watch out dirt and grime just slide off the side cleaned with Bathroom Duck. Its unique waterproofing formula resists dirt buildup to make cleaning easier. New Bathroom Duck. Nothing fights tough bathroom dirt like duck. From S.C. Johnson Wax. Promise spread has no cholesterol and is lower in saturated fat than leading margarines. You make me feel so young. Promise. Get heart smart. Do you ever feel like your life is spinning out of control? You can learn how to take control of your future. Just call the live psychic line now. Psychic advisors are waiting to speak with you live and help you find the answers to a better life. Is there romance in your future? Success or money? Call anytime, 24 hours a day. Call now. Call toll free, 1-800-526-2323. Every time I go on a diet, I think I'm really gonna do it this time. And I do. I lost 20 pounds on my last diet. But you know what's killing me? I gained back 25. I feel such shame. If diet programs have not worked for you, you may have an eating disorder. The Rader Institute, 1-800-255-1818. show you some of the footage of their million dollar mansion in Los Angeles. Don't you hear what people keep saying? Well, every they, house, yeah. a shack in Los Angeles is a million dollars. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, the video now is from one of my gossip show, by the way, and it was oh. given to me by Sam Rubin of KTLA, oh. right? Oh, yeah. And let's roll the tape and tell us what we're looking at. We can look up there. Okay. 
Well, that uh, is our kitchen that Rosie yeah. designed, didn't you, honey? Yeah. It's so beautiful. She designed it. It was real dark in there. We gutted the house, and she rebuilt everything. That there, what's that, the dining room? Yeah. <laughs> and oh. we it just we ordered that uh, table there from uh, Italy, and they made it by hand. It's real nice and everything. And, we eat there a lot. Yeah, yeah we, we eat, eat there, there every night. Every we night. have a cook that cooks us. That's the living room there. Rosie designed all that and all the couches. I mean, everything she did. That up, that's our sitting room off our master bedroom. And through that door is our master bedroom in there. Who was that first? I, I, that was uh, that used to she used to work for us. <laughs> that there's my office in the back house. Yeah. It's my office. That is. Uh, is that your office? That's Rosie's office. Yeah. And where's yeah. the boudoir? They're going to show us boudoir pictures. That was the sitting room. Oh, the, the sitting, sitting room. room. Is that is what a boudoir? boudoir is? I thought that was the toilet. No. <laughs> so sitting room is a boudoir? No, a bedroom is a boudoir. Bedroom. Oh. Bedroom is a boudoir. That was part of our bed. It's <laughs> off of our bedroom. <laughs> What's the bedroom like? How big a bed? We have a big bed, a king size bed, and it's very beautiful. It's a, was that a Ralph Lauren bed? Uh, wood uh, for poster four posters. Bed. And, but Rosie did. Rosie wood. worked with the uh, designer and, and did everything in the house. I mean, she really put. Tom it thinks, feels like a home. Tom team. thinks I designed it all. Yeah, that, let, him, <laughs> let him, let him, let him. What about Iowa? Now that's also a major house. Yeah. That's a really major. Our house in LA is 13,000 square feet. I mean, we've we added a guest house of thing, but in Iowa it's 30,000, and it 30, is 000. it is so big because we built a two-lane bowling alley in it. We're building a it's a, it's a year and a half from completion, and we're building a there's Olympic-sized pool inside because in Iowa, you know, the winters are so bad, you got to have it all inside, and it's a huge house. It's nine bedrooms, and it's our dream house that we've always dreamed of. And we're why, very excited. Why nine bedrooms? Seriously, that's okay. a lot of bedrooms. There's Rosie and I. One. And there's, uh, <laughs> well, two sometimes. Well, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> then we got, there's four kids. Yeah, okay. And uh, there's there's uh, Nanny. And there's and a, new uh, kid. and a new kid is going to come. You know, right, that'll be that's fun. Right. And then there's friends, you know, to come and visit us in Iowa. So we His really family is all My family there. all lives out there and our friends from L.A. Are you still good, a good Jersey family? Yeah, I'm on great terms with my family. Yeah. We both are on that's my... It. My, my my father, my stepmother, my parents, I'm really excited. So you his didn't... brothers all live at the farm. Yeah, my brothers are farm oh, mans. You know, I always say, people say, well, Rosie, you know, help me with my career. Well, I've passed it along, too. My brothers all work on my farm. It's, that's a... I don't want to brag, but uh, that's... Uh... <laughs> what about your, are your family now? Your sister's writing a tell-all book. What's left I, to I tell? I heard that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. what can they tell? <laughs> we told You've it, told we? it all. <laughs> well... Doesn't that always astonish you? When well, they say, Tell-all book. About what? I tell <laughs> we passed it all. Well, I don't know. I heard that rumor. I don't know if it's true. But, yeah, I don't know what they're doing. There's a lawsuit right now that her sister is suing Rosie, as did her ex-husband, as did her two of her ex-managers, saying that they created Rosie. Oh. When, and everybody knows I did. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, uh, I'm kidding. But, you know, it's just the same old stuff. Everybody says, I created that act. I created your persona. I, I just kind of, like, showed up and opened yeah. my mouth. and. But you know, but that's so typical with everybody's career. Yeah, yeah, it's so weird. Madonna has never once turned around and said, Joan, you said, take off your bra. I was the first one. <laughs> Donnie, I called her. Donnie, I said, show that boob. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> what Donnie? about, where are you going to end up? Where, in, in Iowa? I mean, if, if everything stopped now, you know, but you had all the money in the world, where would home be to the two of you? We'd go move? to the farm in Iowa. Yeah, we keep our house in L.A. We really like it. Yeah, we yeah. like our house yeah, there, too. Yeah, we live in Iowa with the farm. Yeah, because, you know, we have horses there and stuff. We go ride horses and... we got longhorn steers. Four-wheel uh, yeah. motor vehicles. We like all that rough stuff. And we have a lot of woods. A fifth of our property is woods. Oh. Yeah, 1,700 so we, acres. We get to go and, you know, like go exploring stuff. We find trails and stuff. It's Great. just really it's cool. Great. Yeah. What about the diner? You opened a diner. Yeah, we opened a diner, Roseanne and Tom's Big Food Diner. It, it opened uh, this week, and uh, it's uh, it's in Eldon, Iowa, right on the main drag there. There's only one street. And uh, it's a real nice. It's right by the Gothic House, American Gothic House, where the picture was taken. And it's it's good food. It's healthy, but there's also a bunch of grease, to, you know, for the Iowans, because yeah. they love it. Oh, don't we'll be back to talk about that and a lot more, so please stay with us. We'll right back. Because you weren't last night. When? When you were constipated. What? I think they have you in mind when they came out with these new Phillips gel caps. Mother, 
Introducing Philips Gel Caps, laxative plus stool softener. Now trusted relief is yours in an easy to swallow Philips Gel Cap. We didn't have gel caps when I was your age. <laughs> what did you talk about? New Philips laxative gel caps, the modern answer to an age-old problem. I had an awful cold. He said drink sorrel. For 10 years, pharmacists have recommended one cold medicine the most. I could barely breathe. He said drink sorrel. 12-hour long prescription strong drink sorrel. I don't know what to take. Take it from your pharmacist. Take drink sorrel. Yo play fat free. Fruit in the bottom. Active yogurt cultures. Not one ounce of fat. That's why Mary Hamilton does it every day. Smooth, creamy Yoplait. Do it for you. What's it like when brothers and sisters take off their clothes to make big bucks? Get the bare facts when Joan Rivers meets sibling strippers. Sure, it's tough dancing in the buff. Find out how they keep it all in the family. Is there sibling rivalry for the best undressed? The Naked Truth on the next Joan Rivers. You still don't have cable TV? Well, there's never been a better time to order than right now. Cable is 24-hour news. Total sports coverage. Cable is in tune, in touch. And it gets better with the uncut commercial-free entertainment of the premium channels. HBO. Showtime. Cinemax. The Movie Channel. Installations only $9.95. That's right, only $9.95. So call 1-800-CABLE-ME to order. You'll also get two premium services free for one month. Don't miss out on all the excitement. It's your last chance. Call 1-800-CABLE-ME today. Cable TV with the premium channel. Don't miss a beat. I was up for a big job. The wait was nerve-wracking. That's when I called the psychic. She called the American Psychic Association, where the country's most gifted psychics are waiting to help you. The psychic saw me behind a big desk. I got the job the next week. The wait was easy, thanks to the psychic. Call now and learn how the American Psychic Association can help you. Call 1-800-621-6655. Must be over 18. Jackie's family, where'd you get that? Oh, it came in a box marked Jackie's Family Sweatshirt, so I opened it to see what it was. Well, what was it? Just these. <laughs> okay, I see what's going on around Jackie, here. Jackie, they made us do this. Oh, this is great! They're spinning off my show! Now I know how proud Ben Cartwright felt when little Joe got his own little house in the prairie! words out at you, people that we all know or, or okay. know of. Okay, Delta Burke. Um, we met her once. He seemed real nice. Met her and her husband. Went and saw him yeah. do a play together. Seems real nice. We don't really know him personally. Okay. Madonna. Uh, we met her once. Seemed real nice. nice. <laughs> Met her oh, once, met her husband. Her. <laughs> I feel sorry for her. Yeah. But yeah. you know what? The, the Royals, they got the thing down. Now, I got to tell you. See, what they do is they marry people they hate. That's a good thing. Because you know how hard it is when you marry someone you love and then all of a sudden they're getting, they get moody on you and you feel so bad about, you know? Now, us guys have to do this. When you marry someone you hate and they, and they get mad at you, you're like, well, it's, you know, I hate them, so it's okay. But <laughs> Donald Trump. Met him once? Met him once. Yeah. He was real nice. Seems like a nice guy. We like him. He's a, he was real nice. He, he drove like me him. on stage in this car on my uh, second HBO special. Oh, that's he was right. very nice. Yeah. What about, who don't you like? Who, who are you having feuds with now? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think we're having feuds no. with anybody, are we? No. Just, our, just within my family. Yeah. yeah. But, all right. Well, that's enough to keep you busy. Okay. What about the Inquirer? Remember you were on one time. Uh, and uh, the Inquirer had a terrible article, and you sued them, and I had you yeah. on my satellite yeah. to give you a chance. <clears throat> now it turns around, and you're both <clears throat> selling stories to the Inquirer. So it's all made up. What? Which, which? What? Well, you made up, the suit was settled, 
Yeah, yeah we won. Yeah. We won the yeah. suit, and, and so we don't sell them stories. We've given them. We, oh, I thought you we, sell them stories. Well, uh, do we make them give it to our foundation? Uh, we were going to do it and make them give it to our foundation. We have a yeah. child abuse foundation. We may be doing that for all I know. Child I know. abuse foundation. Yeah. That's great. But yeah. we, uh, no, we, we, you know, what we've done is we, we have a, uh, an agreement with them after this lawsuit, which I can't really talk about, but uh, it makes it, it makes it okay for us to be in there. You know, because a lot of the fans read that these the tabloids, of and so it, we, we've worked out something that we can live with. What about the child abuse foundation? How does that, were you it's, abused? I know Roseanne was. But yeah, we both were as kids. Were and it's something that, this is what we really want to do with our lives, you know. Yeah. We, we just formed it and we're working on it. And uh, I think when we go to, when we go to Iowa, like when we die, the house we're building there, we're turning over to the foundation. That house, that's why. Eventually we'll house 30 children. We're building a house so it can be cut up into kids' rooms when we, when we are done with it. And that's right. the so thing that's that we, when we move away from L.A. when our careers are over in, you know, how many months, I don't yeah, know. Right. Yeah, right. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I'd like to really get yeah. into that and uh, see something that goes coast to coast because there are so many things that are not available. It's just so sad. And the funding is so tight now, you so know, with sad. all the stuff with the government, it's just tight. So people, Some individuals have to Some little towns in involved. America, you know, that write us and we write, we get give grants and stuff, but they don't even have enough money to buy those anatomically mm -hmm. correct dolls for children to tell what, what happened to them. Right. That's and that's there's so much need out there, and uh, and uh, if anybody's interested, they can yeah. they can write us. It's a new foundation, and, and but we'd like to see it go coast to coast with education and, uh, and funding services. Okay. We'll be back with more in a moment with Tom and Roseanne, so stay tuned. <laughs> of pain, tears of joy. But when your eyes are dry, soothe them with the tears of Murine. Closer to your own tears than other leading eye drops or artificial tears, Murine Natural Tears Formula. Something big is coming from Certs. Yeah? A breath mint with extra mint for extra cool, fresh flavor. Sounds big. Bigger than you think. New sugar-free Certs, extra flavor mints with reds and try them. I'd like to, but I can't get up. A refreshing new way to be certain with Certs. I can't keep a secret. So when I heard Lipton Recipe Soup Mix changed its name to Lipton Recipe Secrets because it makes terrific recipes, I had to tell Joan. They did more than change the name. Now there's a new flavor, savory herb with garlic made specially for chicken. I couldn't keep that to myself. We love chicken. And those herbs, a touch of garlic, makes any chicken taste, uh, well, see for yourself. Lipton Recipe Secrets, the secret worth passing around. Kennedy Space Center, the shuttle discovery. Putting the flight systems through final check, Lockheed's Chris Tyler, shuttle technician and DeVry graduate. I wanted a career that was going somewhere. To be at the leading edge of technology, I needed the right education. DeVry was the best choice. At DeVry, you earn a bachelor's degree that puts you at the leading edge of business and technology. We have ignition and liftoff. DeVry launched my career. Call anytime, 1-800-247-7800. DeVry, we're serious about success. The most important part of any case is its preparation. There's an old saying that as a young lawyer, you lose many cases you should have won. And as an older lawyer, you win many cases you should have lost. That's where the experience factor comes in. The will to win is worthless without the will to prepare. No question about it. If you've been injured, call Balkan and Doran at 1-800-INJURED. Sunrise Musical Theater in Florida on February 6th. Sound familiar, guys? Yeah. Yes. I'm back talking with uh, Tom and Roseanne. Everyone's asked me to ask you different things. I want to ask you. Uh, oh, I got to say one thing okay. first. The foundation is called the Tom and Roseanne Arnold Foundation, and we're based in Los Angeles. But you, if you want information on the foundation or right. you want to send money to the foundation, you send it in that name and carry your show, and it will get to us. Our great. goal is to raise a million dollars this year. Great. Okay. Okay. Okay, great. I'm great. glad we got that in. Thank you. All right. People want to know the following things they asked me about. They want to know. Um, I, how many nights a week do you spend in therapy? They want to know, do you, see, do you see your child that you gave up for adoption? These are all things that have been whispering in my ears. And um, they want to know, are you religious? So we have, how long? 
four minutes. So let's start with, okay, what was the first one? Are you in therapy? Therapy. Yeah, I am. I yeah. am too. Good. I Are am you? too. Well, I'm a key, you know, I've graduated. But, uh, no, I mean, I have my own program I work. Yeah. And uh, Rosie's, Rosie's I, I go about three times a week. Yep. How do you, when you have spats, how do you get over them? Do you have like a little ritual? I'll call your therapist. Uh, <laughs> I'll get on the phone. I do that a lot. Well, we yeah, have. Yeah, he calls well, my therapist and I go crazy when he does that. I think it's the other way around. But anyway, uh, <laughs> we have, you know, it's tough to have fights. We have fights that, that are work-related down on the set. Yeah. They're always personal, We though. just have big fights. We really do. And then, yeah. and then we'll laugh. People I go, hate it, though. People say, the things that you guys say to each other just off the top of your heads are the most hideous things that can wreck everyone's marriage in the world. But we, we just, we laugh it off. We say, like, horrible things to each other and laugh. I don't know. I guess because of hecklers and co being comics. Yeah. We it's fight it's like, hard, though, sometimes, you know. We fight I like worry. one's on stage and one's the heckler. Yeah. <laughs> and I worry about, you know, I always worry, you know, that I'm, I'm the one that usually makes up after the fight. He thinks he does, but that is not true. <laughs> At least half the time, I say no, I'm sorry. You, I make up and I say I'm wrong. You know, just even whether I'm wrong or not, I just gotta say well, it. Well, you, you know? are wrong. And then later, you admit you're wrong about a day later. No, I do that. Yeah, then it's okay. I, I, that is not true. Fast adopted adopted daughter. Yeah, she comes and spends a few she weeks. Spent New Year's Eve with, with us, us every Brandy, year. And she, we have. We talk to her. I have a great relationship. Okay, thank with God with her. Yeah. What about um, uh. Uh, what was the third? Religious. Are we religious. very religious? Yeah. Well, uh, we're, you know, we're, we're into it. We're learning. You know, we had Passover at our house. So Jake is getting bar mitzvahed in March. And, uh, you know, we're there. We, uh, yeah. We're very spiritual Jews, you know, <laughs> which means, means we don't have to go to what? synagogue. But anyway, uh, <laughs> so tired. But no, we do. We do. We're, we're more into, like, a spiritual whatever than a religion thing. Now, right. we're going to go to commercial. I'm going to come back. I'm going to ask you about jealousy. Because, oh. this, well, I, somebody told me he won't let you have male friends. No. I, I think he it's won't great. Let me talk to men. I am, don't you think it's great? Yeah, I like it, him yeah. being that way. Yeah. Are you really that jealous? Well, she could talk to him if I'm there, you know, if it's just, you know. <laughs> but she, I know. Well, I'll tell you why you have to break. Okay, let's go to the question. <laughs> we'll be back with more in a moment, so stay tuned. Some foods just beg for a touch of butter. Oh, yeah. Kraft Touch of Butter Spread with a touch of real creamy butter and one-third less fat than butter or margarine. I want to nibble your ears. You make me melt. Yes, you do. With your perfect touch of butter. At Hillshire Farm, we spend hours in the smokehouse cooking our light smoked sausage so you can make meals in minutes. taste of our fully cooked light sausage is giving people a whole new appreciation of fast food. Taste the difference when it comes from Hillshire Farm. Some of our guests stay at the beautiful Plaza Hotel overlooking Central Park. Take one meatball, a company of screwballs, a Nimrod Commander, two luscious MPs, and one awesome RV, and you've got a movie that kicks some brass. That's the fact, Jack! Bill Murray, John Larrikin, Sean Young, and John Candy. A lean, mean fighting machine. Nutty Buddies! Stripes, Thursday night at 7 on Channel 9. I was seeing my parents off, and I realized... Dad, what do you got in here? Uh, gardening equipment? They've planned their retirement for a long time. Common Sense says the time to plan for your future is today. One day, it's going to be our turn. At Fidelity Investments, America's largest mutual fund company, can help you begin. Debbie? One day, Jeff sat down to figure out how much we'll have for retirement. How's it going, Einstein? <laughs> Very funny. Take a look at I this. I thought we were doing a pretty good job. 
At this rate, we'll never retire. retire. This is all Over have. two million Americans trust their retirement savings to Fidelity. With choices like Fidelity Asset Manager, a fund that gradually adjusts its portfolio to take advantage of changing market conditions with no sales charge. So call Fidelity now for this free booklet, A Common Sense Guide to Planning for Retirement. You'll also receive everything you need to start. Call 1-800-851-9393. Fidelity Investments. Common Sense. Uncommon Results. If you or someone you love has been seriously injured in a car or motorcycle accident, the results can be devastating. At times like these, you need an attorney. Call the Injury Helpline. Talk to an attorney near you for free. One who will explain your legal rights and costs. There are no attorney fees unless you receive payment for your injuries. The insurance companies have attorneys working hard on their side, and so should you. Call 1-800-252-1988. Promotional fees provided by... You want regular Swiss cheese with all that fat, cholesterol, sodium, and calories? No, no. I'm giving you Alpine Lace Swiss Low because I care how you and you eat. You scum. I want you out of my life. If you hate disgusting soap scum, get rid of it with X-14 Soap Scum Remover. Scrabble, America's good time game. There's Deluxe Travel Scrabble. America's Good Time Game. From Milton Bradley. For free tickets, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Tickets, The Joan River Show, Columbus Circle Station, P.O. Box 20701, New York, New York, 10023, or call 212-975-5757. We were talking about uh, jealousy mm -hmm. and, and, and your jealousy, which I think well, is great. Well, my rule is that Rosie doesn't eat lunch with men or, you know, spend any time with men. If there's some business to be discussed, we'll all discuss it together. Yeah. I mean, because, you know, it, it, nothing will probably happen, but, uh, you know, he could fall in love with Rosie, right, you right. know, and then he'd be pursuing her and everything, and I'd have to, you know, it could be ugly, <laughs> but it could happen. But I'll tell you what, it won't happen if she doesn't ever do it, if she doesn't ever have lunch. And I'm just worried about you, basically. I'm very jealous, but, you know. What about you with him? Are you as worried? No, not as much. But, uh, but you know, he has this rule that you can't, I can't eat lunch with any men. So I'm out of town. He takes this reporter who's a woman. He takes her out to lunch. He breaks his own rule, you know. And so what does she do? She ends up writing about how, how much he eats and how sloppy he eats. <laughs> I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. One thing to say, it's been always so great to have the two of you on, because I Thank love you. both of you so much. You. And I don't know if you saw the show with the psychics or you didn't, but they yeah, said did. this year, twins. Yeah. What are the names going to be? Uh, oh, what was their names? Oh, if it's a, if it's for a girl, it's going to be Blaze. I All love right. that name. And uh, if it's for a boy, it's going to be Colton. Colton. All right. Real Jewish names. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wish you both such Thank success. You I hope you're here for as very long much. as you want to be. Thank a pleasure you. having you on. Thank so you. nice to be on. Good. Today. And Thank again, you. what fun we all had at the inauguration. I, oh, it was we great. had a great I'll time. That, I'll get that film developed for all of us. <laughs> I just want to say to you to remember to tune in to Roseanne every Tuesday night at 9 o'clock and then stay tuned for the hilarious The Jackie Thomas Show at 9 30. Okay? Thank you all for being here. See you Yay. all tomorrow. It's going to be a good show, a lot of sexual things. And <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Compulsive eating is a real disease, and it can make you a prisoner. If you or a loved one have a food addiction problem, call the National Food Addiction Hotline at 1-800-USA-0088. You still don't have cable TV? Well, there's never been a better time to order than right now. Cable is 24-hour news. Total sports coverage. Cable is in tune, in touch, and it gets better with the uncut commercial-free entertainment of the premium channels. HBO. 
Showtime. Cinnamon. The Movie Channel. Installations only $9.95. That's right, only $9.95. So call 1-800-CABLE-ME to order. 